Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an icon store in ClickFunnels 2.0 so that you can feature all your products in one place and allow your customers to buy them. We will also cover how to seamlessly use funnels in addition to your store to increase the cart value. Two things before we get started. If you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, in the description of this video you will find a link to a free trial. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you can find a link to a special deal that will help you save up to 50% on your subscription. And second, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. Now let's get started. Here is an example of how a store in ClickFunnels 2.0 will look like. You may showcase all your products in the storefront. By the way, you can easily customize this page to change the color, background and also the product section. Then when a customer is interested in the product, they can just click view this product and they will see a checkout page for this specific product. When they pay for the product, they will be redirected to a thank you page that in my case looks like that. Now let's see how you can build all of that in ClickFunnels 2.0. First, if you don't see a store feature in the app section here, click the plus icon, find the store tab and click on it. Then click add app, enter the name of your store, set the path and click create store. Once you create your store, you will see it in the app section here. Go to the store overview, Let's quickly go over the features that we have here. You can preview your store by clicking on the icon here, copy the link to your store, change the status of your store from publish to draft. In the settings of the store, you will be able to change the name and the path, make your store search indexable and also add SEO and sharing information. And last but not least, you will be able to access and edit store pages from here. You see, when you create a store in ClickFunnels 2.0, a theme that you have installed for your ClickFunnels 2.0 workspace already has some default pages for your store. And the only thing that is left for you to do is to edit those pages. To do that, click Edit Store Theme. And as a store is a part of a site in ClickFunnels 2.0, you will see a site editor here. But the only thing that we are interested in in this tutorial is the storefront section. So to have a setup like I showed you in the beginning, you only need three pages. You need a storefront page that you see here, then a product page and an order confirmation page. And what you need to do is to go to these templates, storefront, product and order confirmation template and customize them. Let me give you a few pointers here. The storefront template already has the main component that we need on this page. And I'm talking about this product collection. If you haven't worked with the collection element in ClickFunnels 2.0 yet, here's what you need to know. You only need to make changes in one section and it will be populated into other section of this collection. For example, if we adjust the size of the product name element, it will be adjusted in all the sections of this product collection. So if you want to change the look of the collection, you only need to make changes in one section. The next thing that you need to consider, you don't need to adjust those dynamic elements, the elements with the brackets. You don't need to write anything in the brackets, you don't need to fill in the information about all your products here. ClickFunnels 2.0 will automatically take the information about your products and paste it here. If you have, let's say, two products like I had in my store, ClickFunnels 2.0 will automatically take the name of the product 1 and paste it here, the name of the product 2 and paste it in this section, and same goes for description, price and the images. So the only thing that you need to do is to adjust the look of the page. You don't need to fill in any product information. ClickFunnels will take the template and insert the data of each product automatically. Once you're done with this page, you can go to the product page. That's the page where we once again show some information about the product and provide a checkout form. If you want to add some text about your product, you can add a product description element.
which also will be individual for every product and will come from the product settings. Again, you can add some text or adjust the look of this page, but keep in mind that this is a template and it should be relevant for all the products that you have in your store, because ClickFunnels will take this template and insert the data of each product. And last but not least, you can go to the order confirmation page and adjust it to your liking. I have some text and the order summary on the thank you page, but you may add some other elements that are relevant to you. Once you have your store pages customized, the next question you may have is how to add products to the store. In fact, it's quite easy in ClickFunnels 2.0. You go to the products, all products, you either create a new product. If you don't know how to do it yet, you can watch a tutorial by clicking on the card up here. Or if you want to add an existing product to the store, you open the settings of this product. And then just tick this checkbox that it should be visible in the online store. And that's all you need to do. After that, this specific product will be visible in your store. With setup like this, my store looks like I showed you in the beginning. And that's basically all you need to do to have an e-commerce store in ClickFunnels 2.0. The only thing that is left for me to show you is so-called store funnels. You can find them in the store section as well. By creating a store funnel, you can select which funnel will trigger after a checkout for a specific product. Let's add a new store funnel. You should give the store funnel a name and then select which funnel should be triggered after the checkout. As you can see from the note here, the best practice would be to select a funnel that starts already with an upsell page, because that's the funnel that your customers will see after they have already purchased a product from your store. And in this area, you can select a trigger for this store funnel. For example, you can say that if a customer purchases a specific product, this store funnel will be triggered. Once you're done, click Create Store Funnel. That's all you need to do to create an e-com store in ClickFunnels 2.0, add products to it, and also integrate store funnels. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content.